All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today it's super hot outside in Europe, around 32 degrees. And today I have a special hot car that comes brand new in 2023. This is the new Toyota RAV4 facelift. And in this video, I will explain you everything about the car. We will make the full review, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, space. Uh, we will talk about the new changes that the car come with. The biggest change of the car is the new multimedia system and the new cockpit. We have here kind of a full full option car and I will explain you in the second everything about the car. I will explain you also about the hybrid system and yeah, let's go guys. And then in the end, we will make the conclusion as always. But before we start the review, I want to give you the technical data and the price. And by the way, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Emil Frey in Bill. I will leave the link in the description. They are super, super nice here. They will help you with whatever question you have. You can test drive the car. You can see the car. They have the latest cars from Toyota and not only. Anyway, let's start the video. So as I said before, we have the Toyota RAV4 that comes with a 2.5 liter petrol engine combined with two electric motors. Yes, two electric motors. One is on the rear and one is integrated in the gearbox that comes with a CVT transmission. I will explain you about that also in a bit. This is the adventure version, by the way, and it comes at maximum power of 222 horsepower. Then the starting price, it's 49,100 francs. Depending on which country you are, the price might be different. And it comes with all these options included that I will try to present you in the video. Also, you can pause the video and read them out if you want to. But I think in different country, the trim level might be different. The final price, as you see up here, also is the same price. So for the moment, no discount on the car because it's a brand new car. I'm not even allowed to drive it because it's not even registered yet. So I cannot go on the road with it, but stay tuned, stay close because I will do the, the usually test drives and the consumption test and all that videos that comes on my channel. A few information about the car. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Wireless. This is great. 19 inch rims. I will show you also when we go outside. We have GBL Hi-Fi, super good sound system. This is also great that it's integrated in this version of the car. Other than that, Pack Safety Sense 2.0. That means it comes with pre-collision system, adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features that the car come with. Anyway, I will leave the link in the description, by the way, if you're in Switzerland, so check them out. Now, let me go to technical data here. It's a little bit more interesting. So this is the all-wheel drive I. This is the new system where uh, the car will do the job for you. You don't have any lock and stuff like that buttons here. So the car, while you're driving, depend on the condition, depend on the road, it will change for you. It will lock the rear wheel drive and it will send the torque on the rear wheel drive to give you that torque that you need to go out from different situation and keep in mind on the rear it's the electric motor so it's a nice uh, smart system that Toyota come these days with and I will make a separate video about that and I will try to explain you that but I can't cover everything in a video because I will make it like hours <laughs> anyway the petrol engine 178 horsepower but I will explain you in a second when we go a little bit deeper about the engine and the powers and stuff like that the weight of the car 1810 kilograms 5.9 liters the estimated consumption 132 co2 grams and it's in c class efficient class so those are uh, some information but i want to go even deeper with the car and as i said before the car come with a 2.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line it's an all-wheel drive system and it comes also combined with an electric motor on the rear and one electric motor in the gearbox and we have cvt automatic gearbox also the top speed of the car 180 kilometers 0 to 108.1 seconds 222 horsepower 221 newton meters the motor that it's uh, on the front axle it has a power of 120 horsepower and the one on the rear 54 horsepower the internal combustion engine has a power of 177 horsepower so together combine i don't know how they calculate uh, it's 222 horsepower now the ground clearance of the car 19 centimeters the drag coefficient is 0.32. The car come with 19 inch rims, 
also independent type McPherson suspension on the front and double wishbone on the rear ventilated brake discs on the front and the normal brake discs on the rear those are the most important technical data now let's review the car let's talk a little bit about the exterior design and the changes and then we will go inside to see what the changes are here and also in the end as always we will make the conclusion so yeah let's start the review guys all right guys as always we will start with the key this is the key kind of the same key as on the previous version also what you can do with the key is just lock and unlock the car also the car comes with electric folding mirrors so you can see here when you unlock the car the, the mirrors will also fold out and you can lock the car very simple like uh, that also it comes with keyless entrance that means if you put your finger here you can lock the car if you put your hands right here you can unlock the car just like that because it has some sensors there so this is super useful another button here is from the trunk and this version that I have with me it comes kind of standard with automatic lift gate in the trunk as well and this is also another very very useful uh, feature that the car come with also you don't have to always hold your uh, hand on the button also all you have to do is just press it three seconds and the trunk will close now let me turn on the lights and let's talk a little bit about the exterior design in general it's built on the same platform as the pre facelift version with a little bit of changes you can see on the exterior the biggest changes on the exterior design it's in the front because we have this new redesigned headlights and also a little bit on the grill there and on the fog lamps but other than that if you look from the side it's kind of the same car as the pre facelift so not big changes here actually if you look from the back of the car it's kind of the same car so yeah in general not too much uh, to say about it uh, I also did a full in deep review with the pre facelift RAV4 if you want to see it it's already on the channel so you can check out for more details there but in general keep in mind kind of the same car uh, the biggest changes are inside the car on the multimedia and also um, I'm not sure if the pre facelift was coming with this all-wheel drive i the intelligent version and not the normal version so this is something that um, the car I think it comes with difference the biggest difference now let's let's look from the front tell me in the comments actually what do you think about the new front end do you think it's nicer do you think the headlights look better than the previous version also if we come close here you will see that everything it's LED light I mean we have the daylight we have the turning signals we have right here the high beam it's LED as well and the low beam and down here we have the fog lamps also LED light and other than that pretty nice design a little bit stronger design you know like RAV4 always have this aggressive look and an angry look then you have the grill in the front here with the radar in the front also um, Toyota logo with blue that signify electricity and then we have the front camera because the car come with 360 degrees camera I will show you when we go inside other than that this is the grill some air intakes here uh, quite interesting but it still keep not big 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 change here on the car just a little bit of changes that they bring to the car uh, in order to call it uh, a facelift then we have down here four parking sensors on the front that's very important to keep in mind on the down part of the bumper we have this gray glossy bright color air intakes down here as well and in general this is it this is the front end I like the fact that they still keep those protection around the wheels those plastic protection are very useful then we have 19 inch rims as I tell you and I like very much those rims I'm not sure if they were also on the pre facelift version but we have a matte gray color that fit really nice with with uh, this color that we have right here this gray color I think they look really really cool ventilated brake this in the front we have also this protection down here I like very much this is also very useful on the down part of the doors everywhere we have this protection then in the back the same story so they still keep those protection uh, plastic around here also when you open the door you can see if someone opened the door and hit something you will be protected so this is also cool we have normal brake this on the rear on the back I don't know guys I mean I wish somehow Toyota 
uh, and facelift in general. When a car manufacturer come with a facelift, I expect to have a facelift. Okay, this is a real facelift because they change only the face of the car. So this is not like a rear facelift. You know what I mean? But still I expect to change something on the rear light at least. Because here, of course, we have the fog lamps LED. We have the tail lights that it's LED. But the turning signals, they are still halogen lights. And I'm, I'm not sure why. I mean, guys, come on. I want to see only LED lights on the lights from 2024 upward I mean I, I'm really expecting that but in general they still keep the same design on the upper side here we have some uh, roof rails in glossy plastic radio antenna very modern very nice I like very much also this spoiler up here it looks nice and also I like the matte color here I mean it looks really nice I'm not sure if it's a black or is the same color as the car it's, it's really hard to tell also in this light. I think it's a black one, but it fits really nice with this gray metallic color. I like it. I like it. This area here, this roof spoiler up here looks super, super sexy. I really like it. Toyota logo with blue insertion. So, you know, this is electric fire. We have a reverse camera and we have LED lights on the number plate. This is great. RAV4 and we have all wheel drive I. So, you know, this is the new uh, special drive mode that engage the rear motor and it, it lock it. It gives you more torque on the rear when you need it. So it's a smart system, very smart system that Toyota implement hybrid uh, logo also on the right side so you know it's a hybrid and down here on the bumper pretty simple some normal matte plastic four parking sensors on the rear some light reflectors the same glossy gray plastic in the back here and then we have two exhaust pipes that are quite real for a hybrid pretty aggressive I should say for a car that show a lot of blue and I'm a hybrid and I'm clean and you have them down there two exhaust pipes I mean ooh, what do you want to say with that I mean I'm sporty I have two exhaust pipes and then I'm clean in the same time you know I mean it's it looks good I can say it doesn't look good it looks really good but but still it's kind of contradict itself uh, but really nice in general. It's a it's a good car Toyota make fabulous cars very reliable cars And as you know here at least in Switzerland you have a 10 years warranty on the car So from this point of view, they are really good I'm sure this is one of the best hybrid system in the world and in terms of technical stuff and reliability and warranty and all that stuff I, I think they they are one of the best for sure but yeah this is the car this is the facelift this is the new facelift here on the mirror we have led light some chrome insertion on the side the same color as the car it's a big mirror you have also a camera down here for 360 degrees camera and you have a big huge mirror you have lovely visibility from the interior blind spot technology in the corner big window so you will see when you go inside you have great visibility and we have a little bit of chrome insertion on the upper side so not too much chrome on the car just in the in the back there on the on the names and on the logo and around the windows on the upper side and here so in general it's clean from chrome it looks nice i will totally get it in a white color probably i like more white but it looks cool up here on the windshield the car come with some sensors for light and raining on the left side and in the middle we have the camera it comes with all these new technology from toyota adaptive cruise control emergency brake lane assist and also if i'm not wrong it comes with this new autopilot i will test it when i will do the test drive with the car i did with the with the new toyota versions and it's it's quite good they, they really improved there and I like that. Here is the tank on the driver's side. You have the button here. You press it and you <laughs> open it up. So here it is. I like the fact that it's on the driver's side and it's much more easy to come down and, and tank and then just go and live. And this is, this is really good. Now I want to open this up and I want to go in the front and I want to show you the engine right now. Now here we have a manual lift gate. So the, the good part is that it's quite light and this is good for the for the consumption and for the car and here is the the, the engine guys 
here is the 2.5 liter four cylinders inline petrol engine and we have also the battery the electric uh, parts are around here we have the air filter the fuse box we have the liquid on the left side also fuse box there and here we have the liquid for the wipers so in general this is it a lot of space for the engine you see they, they kind of design in the in the super uh, reliable way I should say anyway all right guys now let's go in the trunk you have also a button down here where you can press it and open up the trunk automatically it comes with automatic lift gate up here you have also two handles so you can close it also manual and you have a button to close it electrically there the practicality of this car it's fabulous I mean the entrance in the trunk it's huge as you see before the pre facelift is kind of the same huge entrance here you can fit in here huge items without any problem I mean I think you can fit in even a, a motorcycle here if you struggle a little bit it's really big I mean I like the square entrance um, it's, it's it's fabulous not sure if you can see it so well on the camera but the entrance in the, in the car it's, it's really really big uh, also it comes with GBL sound system so you have here a speaker and then or, or is a buffer buffer I think it's here on the left side on the right side you have some storage space you have 12 volt port you have some LED lights you have some hooks in the corners we have a completely flat floor again a super super um, usable thing and then under the floor I want to show you you have some storage space as well where you can fit different items it's not a big storage space it doesn't come with a spare tire but still it's usable and think about we have an electric motor on the rear here it has to fit in the tank and all that stuff so usually the hybrid uh, systems don't have too much space under the floor of the trunk that's that's something to keep in mind now the only only thing that I find here and I wish it was different is the fact that when you want to fold down the seat you have to fold it 60 40 you don't have a middle part where you can fold it and carry long items like skis but yeah it's, it's, it's just fine and if you want to fold it you can do it very easy you have to stretch out a little bit because uh, it's farther away that means much more space look how much space you have it's crazy crazy spacious and it's almost a flat floor there and I like that very much I mean crazy good practicality it's crazy 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 good so great job Toyota I mean I really like the way they design it I don't know guys from what angle I can show you that but the entrance and the space in the trunk if you need practicality from an SUV uh, this one is designed in such a way that you can fit in here in the back plenty plenty of stuff let me show you actually from the side if I open this door and you open it kind of yeah more than 45 degrees I think around around 80 degrees around something like that anyway the entrance is big you can see also from here big entrance and you can see also the trunk and the back part of the trunk you can see how big it is from this angle and down there as well so it's a big big space here where you can fit in so many many big items and also the fact that it's kind of a flat and they designed this really smart here I like it I like that and then you have also on the legs room the transmission tunnel is not that big so you still have some storage space there where you can add different items so quite quite nice another cool thing I want to show you right now is the fact that uh, with one hand it's complicated is the fact that you can adjust the seats right now they are all the way kind of straight but if you pull this and push it you can go even further so you can see the difference are like maybe five centimeters there difference and you can have it even more lean on the back so you can stay in more relaxed way so you have kind of two position here to set up your seats so this is great um, then let me go to the doors here we have big windows they are square the visibility from the interior it's gorgeous you have also another window here on the body of the car and if you want to fold down the windows they should work I think they are child lock in this moment if I go there in the front I think they are locked from here yes they were locked from there but if you want to fold them down you can see you can fold it completely down so you have all these 
um, air that comes inside the car so this is super super useful I like that and I see the system work really well and that way we have such a such a long uh, time warranty because everything here it's it's really good then also on the rear door we have leather you can see the orange stitches and here leather this is awesome very good quality then you have the handle that feels good the handle here the button for the windows feel great a little bit of plastic here with some chrome then the storage space I was expect to be a little bit bigger maybe on the next RAV4 to make it a little bit bigger more spacious here this is the speaker with RAV4 on it quite nice it keeps the shape from the previous version and then this is the entrance in the car but before I go inside I want to fix my seat on my driving position because I want to show you. electric adjustable seat by the way and they work so good I told you everything inside the car feel really really good maybe a little bit more maybe like that this it's not perfect but yeah this is kind of my driving position um, I'm 173 centimeters by the way this is the entrance in the car you can make an idea from here the gorgeous glass roof that comes with the car and I think it comes standard because I didn't see on this advanced version to be an option to pay for it and it looks gorgeous I totally recommend you to get this gorgeous glass roof it looks nice and from here you can see also these lovely leather seats they look super super cool and I think the interior look quite nice and the seats are super good quality plenty of space here so in terms of space the RAV4 it's really top-notch practicality it's really good uh, nothing to complain from this point of view <laughs> I forget to close the trunk ah by the way the trunk comes also with the protection for trunk I put it there I don't like it I don't know if I have <laughs> I don't like trunk protection also in my car I leave it home uh, when I get those cars because it's much more practical like that um, now where were I here Look at it, look at the stitches in orange, look at this in the middle, the, the headrest are soft and nice, they feel special, they feel like a, wow, I like them, I like them, they are so plushy, so soft and plushy, you know that gummy, I don't know how they call it guys, you know, when, you, when you, you're, you're a child and you have that gummy that you press it and it feels like, like soft and nice, this is, this is kind of the same feeling here and it's really really nice really comfortable and then the seats are a little bit uh, stronger on the side on the side support but here in the middle quite soft again and also here in the middle I don't think this is leather or it's leather but it's so soft so nice it feels more like an um, like a vegan leather it's crazy soft I don't know how they they managed to do that I, I like it I like the material they are cool really different I didn't see before in another car um, and also in the middle here kind of a flat floor for a third person we will check the space in a second up there you have also an LED light and I like the fact that you have a roof it's it's white it's bright and it makes much more brighter inside the car much more positive and I like that it make it a little bit stand out a little bit more you know like bigger it seems to be bigger the interior with the white uh, roof and I like that anyway in the middle as I said you have an armrest with two cup holders and behind the front seat we have everywhere leather guys so no plastic nothing and also no um, no storage space here in, in the seats anyway let me go inside go inside very easy I like the fact the transmission tunnel is not that big it's maybe five centimeters it's nothing and there another good thing is that we have two USB C ports check this out quite nice quite useful and a little bit higher we still have those BMW vents those you remember the BMW from 1993 guy some of you that remember them those vents look the same they, they have kind of the same vent but the quality is good I like that I like look it's crazy smooth the quality is much better than most of the other cars but the design it's a little bit oldish to those vents but uh, the quality is good let me close the door 173 centimeters I, I, I fix my seat in my driving position you see before and look at the space I told you this the practicality in a RAV4 it's crazy good guys I mean look at this almost wow it's, it's crazy good I can stretch my legs completely and I don't have any space down here it's crazy good and also on the on the head I have like five six fingers over my head 
no problem i mean it's it's really really good uh good soft material here soft material here armrest everywhere is soft and the, the quality and the feeling here in the back it's quite good i have a handle i have a hook up here gorgeous visibility because you have these big windows nothing to complain to be honest here going in the middle it's very easy here it's a little bit I should say a little bit more stiffer on the down part and I think I stay a little bit higher you see I have only five fingers yes and if I stretch my hand completely I can do it and also here yeah so for free people I think you can sit here even for medium to long trips without any problem on the back again it's a little bit stiffer because of the armrest but it's not bad and I have a nice view here I have this gorgeous glass roof really nice I like it this is it guys ah by the way the legs no problem i mean in terms of legs room it's quite good you can stay also with your legs together oh that's nice so you have a lot of space there this is good and yeah this is the back part anyway we will go in the front and there are the biggest change on this new rav4 facelift because there we have the new multimedia system the new cockpit uh this is the cockpit with 12.5 inch display and this is the new multimedia system the biggest is one with the new software and hardware and i have a separate video with it on the channel if you want to see it check it out and also i will make some videos how to connect your uh, android phone if it's not already on the channel check it out uh in the future but in general lovely it looks nice it looks simple it's not something crazy like you see on peugeot cars but still very nice very simple it still keep those physical buttons practicality is still there and uh, it looks quite nice, I don't know, it looks nice, simple and nice. Anyway, let's go in the front. Here again, big windows, great visibility, and on the door, the same story, the same high good quality leather. We have these orange stitches everywhere here in this area, so everywhere here we have leather. Then you have the handle, then you have the buttons for the windows, lock and unlock, lock the windows, electric adjustable mirrors, left and right, and also uh, folding mirrors. Then a little bit downer here again, the same story, uh, we have some story space, but from my point of view small and I don't understand why they didn't somehow extend it a little bit more yeah that would be nice then we have the RAV4 speaker here it's simple entrance and then normal pedals and we have RAV4 on the carpet hybrid there electric adjustable seat this is something that I like very much and what I noticed they work super smooth and super nice so the quality of the electric systems it's it's gorgeous nothing to complain about big entrance kind of the same as on the pre facelift and you can see from this angle also the entrance here with those lovely lovely leather seats good now if you go from this angle you can see it even better and also you can see the same orange the same orange stitches side support side support and the same soft nice material here in the middle guys if you know what kind of material or or leather but what kind of leather is that i'm really curious because it it feels a little bit more softer more nicer and also the headrest are the same as on the rear wow they are so so cool i have to read about those seats maybe i make a special video because they are different they are unique and i like that down here you open the tank you open the front here we have the lights automatic high beam we have this button it's a magic button in the winter time it's gorgeous you press it once and the windshield will be defrosted i don't know if you can see in the windshield you see those little lines parallel lines they're not super 100 percent parallel but there are some lines inside the windshield and when you press this button you defrost the windshield very fast then we have the the view around the camera so you have those 360 degrees camera the heating on the steering wheel the trip information and then you open the the trunk from here automatically some storage space for your phone and from here up soft material leather you can see the stitches in orange we have those vents that feel quite good quality and also they look very modern and on the upper side again soft material very nice i like it let's go inside around the windows visibility is quite good nothing to complain i tell you huge mirrors good visibility also big windshield good visibility in the mirrors as well look at this mirror good visibility in the back and then around look at this gorgeous 
I, I don't think you have a blind spot on this car. Maybe they're in the corners a little bit, but you have 360 degrees camera, so you don't have to worry. Down here we have some leather armrest that you can also open it up. Some storage space here, you can take it out and you have plenty of storage space down there. Two USB-C ports, super useful. Perfect, I mean, it's super practical. It is what it is, it is what it should be, I should say. Here, two cup holders. Uh, you have also this space for smokers. Then everything here is made in plastic. That's something to keep in mind. That's why maybe they managed to keep it in this price, like 60,000 this car. Because if you would buy a Mercedes in this class, ooh, the price will be around 100,000. Then we have very nice and i like the fact that they keep the physical button we have physical button here on different driving modes we have this talk that i wish it was smaller i'm more of a fan of shift by wire transmission or here behind or something like that but i like the fact that they keep physical button for example physical button for climatic system physical button on the steering wheel for adaptive cruise control autopilot and all that stuff physical button for the cockpit and this is very useful while you're driving even when you change the driving modes it's very easy like that i want physical button because touch screen it's crazy and it takes your eyes on the road so uh, that's that's the thing man if the, some cars combine those two in a in a very nice manner i don't remember which car i reviewed but it was so good combined the physical button with the screen that was just phenomenal i think uh, a few these last weeks i i review it but i don't remember what what model was i, I don't remember really i have to check it out but anyway really nice on the dashboard here also we have leather soft material up here you have also speakers on the a pillar gbl you can see nice logo super premium very good sound system by the way keep this in mind and here you have some extra storage space as usually on the preface lift and then down here we have also a big glow box it's not huge but it's big enough to put your stuff there then you have the star stop engine button behind here we have the steering wheel that you can adjust it forward backward down up simple like that and also the quality of the steering wheel it's very good we have leather we have great grip very very good quality on the steering wheel as toyota uses with we have also some pedals here behind and you can change the gear manually uh to have some fun if i'm not wrong and you can go also from the gear shifter here on the left side you can go in sport uh, in s mode and if i'm not wrong this s mode let me show you if you go like this you go down and up yeah you can go in s1 s2 s3 and then from here you can kind of change those and i go back and drive you can change those uh, speeds but i think you can do it also from the pedals while you're driving anyway now here you have the ev mode if you press it you have to have enough battery you can see down there we have like half battery but it's enable enable to 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 add it because you don't have enough battery and then you have this wheel from where you can change different driving mode you go in echo mode and you have sport mode and you can see from here this is the echo mode every time you change the driving mode it's change also the graphic and the colors uh, on the screen there it will become a little bit different not big huge difference but a little bit different and with uh, sport mode it's kind of red you can see if i cover this area here and then if you press it push to normal you just press it and then the car will go directly to normal mode so this is the new cockpit new digital cockpit like 12 inch 12.5 inch display and then you have this trail mode that you can press it from here and you can activate the trail mode you will see on the screen it appear a trail there then electronic handbrake auto hold great functions wireless charging it comes on this car with usb port uh, and 12 volt port there very very useful also uh, in the front there and then a little bit higher we have the traction control button and we have this heated seats physical button this is also great and then a little bit higher we have the climatic system that you can turn it on and off from here very very simple and very fast just like that and you can also change from here temperature it feels good it's very simple to use and everybody can use it and it's super super cool uh, yeah nice
so this is all turn it off from here a little bit higher we have those two vents also the vents feel good quality and then we have the hazard light button and this huge multimedia system the new one that it's really really big improvement from the previous version let's start actually with the cockpit this is the cockpit guys and on the cockpit you can customize it you can play from those buttons here so for example let me show you for example you can go in the middle and you can see different settings there you can choose what you like to see in the middle so for example the lane assist this is the autopilot and information about the autopilot this is the settings on the settings you can change different settings like the safety settings and also you can go in uh, meter settings if you hold it a little bit you can change the language the units the meter type so you can choose what type you want you can have it like simple like that in the middle or you can go back and you can choose this one like we did this this speed in the middle or you can choose this one that is my favorite so you can choose which one you want and you can go to meter style and you can choose sporty style that looks different quite interesting you can see right now you can choose this style let me go it's like kind of simple smart style it looks really interesting and then casual this is the casual which one you like more I will leave it on casual and from there you can also see here the fuel economy the EV on and off the hybrid system um, the echo guidance and you have the drive info items trip a trip b pop-up display and default settings so those are really interesting settings and also uh, of course you can have these free um, customizable areas on the side that you can choose from here and you can choose directly which one you want one two three and then once you press it okay it will stay like that and then of course we have another options to go on the left and right side where you can choose what we like to have on the left side you can see right now i can customize this, the, the consumption the echo information the ev driving ratio the cruise control and navigation and i'm not sure why then i cannot see the navigation all over the screen and also there on the right side the same story you can change those things and if i go even more on the right side you can also choose what you like to activate on the right side and on the left side the same story if you go left you can choose what you can activate there on the left side so it's really interesting the, the only thing that i i tried to play with it before i didn't manage to put the map on the screen where on the new corolla facelift and corolla cross i managed to have the map there on the screen so I, i'm not sure how I did that but yeah probably keep in mind that it should work also the map to have it on the screen there anyway now let's go forward let's go to this screen now Toyota in the last year with this new um, new multimedia system not only on this facelift but also on the pre-facelift when it comes with this software if you see this software with these shortcut buttons on the side like that keep in mind it's very good it's very responsive it has new hardware new software that works fabulous and i will fix a little bit let me fix the screen here and let me explain you the different stuff so look how how responsive it is i was super impressed also when i see it on corolla cross on corolla facelift it's crazy it's become one of the best navigation out there and look how fast it is you can add a destination it's just in no time it's crazy responsible and i like how they the manage to start now to to make this screen it's crazy good you have uh, internet connectivity you can connect wireless apple carplay android auto awesome multimedia this time uh, not only that the hybrid system it's great but also the multimedia it's great i think the next uh, updates and improvement that they will make they will they should do a little bit on the lights uh, exterior lights to add some led lights but otherwise uh, many things are perfect in the car then go to the multimedia here it's simple you have radio station list manual mode here you have the bluetooth you can connect your phones and here you have information about the car like trip information like consumption like history on the consumption you have the energy flow that shows you what happened with the energy how much battery you have here is the electric motor on the rear electric motor on the i think it's connected in the gear uh it's in the front or it's connected in the the gearbox i don't remember exactly i have so many information about so many cars in the in the head that i don't remember exactly but if you remember just just let me know in the comments anyway 
it's a nice graphic that it shows you here while you're driving it's crazy hot I have to open the door because it's crazy hot inside the car then um, we have the customize here you can customize the lights uh, you can choose how you like to have the, the door controls the climatic system the utility and then if we go uh, four door here we have all the apps and we have web browsing you can browse the web uh, if you have internet connectivity this one doesn't have at the moment and then you have the settings those are all the settings of the car where you find it here and you have like personal information here you should do an, an username if I'm not wrong then you have like Bluetooth and device here you can connect your phone I will make a separate video about that so check out on the channel um, accessibility date and time keyboards language and units you can change the language and units from here you can go back and we have the Wi-Fi in settings, display settings, screen settings, and also the camera settings. You can change from here the colors. And this, the colors and the brightness is from the camera, from 360 degrees camera. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, and the screen information is from this screen. Uh, because someone asked me uh, in one of my video previous video sound information here and settings. You can change them also from here. Then we have media settings FM internet radio and stuff like that so going forward we have the navigation settings from here you find all the settings of the navigation that you wanna uh, set up and you find it here even the update map update and stuff like that you find it here pretty simple it's pretty easy to use this um, this multimedia from uh, Toyota then we go here to the vehicle customization you have the same settings as you see it before info and security and software update super simple I mean the multimedia it's crazy crazy simple it's nothing complicated everybody can use it and learn it very fast now I want to show you also on the upper side here I like the fact that you have a white roof you have a handle you have a microphone you have also LED lights with a big mirror I like that this is also very useful and on the upper side you have LED lights again on the roof so no uh, no more those halogen lights so up here as I said is this curtain that you can close it and open it very simple from this button but also the great part is that we have also the possibility to open up the glass roof and that mean more light and more air comes inside the car and this is also super cool and as I see, I think it comes standard on this version, at least here in Switzerland, I don't know, in other countries, but really useful, really useful stuff, guys. Anyway, now I want to show you something really cool. This is the mirror. The mirror has a great visibility, but if this visibility is not enough for you, and also it has a nice tiny edges, if that's not enough for you, you just pull this like that, and then you have a reverse camera in the back there from where you can change different settings like the brightness. Uh, you can go also to change the position of it. So you can go up and down, and then if you go even farther, you can change also left and right, up and down. And, and stuff like that so it's it's really cool and if you don't want to go back you just go back like that so quite cool guys I guess I hope I show you everything I don't think I forget something so if I miss something ask me down below in the comments it's crazy hot today outside I hope you get some useful information from this new Toyota RAV4 facelift 2023 or 2024 how some people right on the internet the car it's it's fabulous and it was fabulous before i mean toyota makes such a good hybrid systems they are one of the best in my opinion on the market and they are super reliable cars and now they make little little small steps you know like they make a facelift they bring this super nice cockpit a uh, very good multimedia system they make a little bit of facelift in the front on the exterior probably in the next one they will make a little bit more changes and bring some better nicer lights and but in general the car it's crazy good for 60,000 how it's in, in Switzerland and maybe in your country it might differ the price it's a really good price for a really good SUV so really practical a lot of practicality the the quality materials are very good and in general I think the car it's it's very well built and um, I, I'm looking forward to make the test drive so if you want to see the test drive stay tuned guys because they will come soon and also the consumption test and all that information about the car so 
stay close if you want to see that anyway in general if you want to see if you are in switzerland if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out emil frey in bill i will leave the link in the description so you can check them out also my rating for this rav4 facelift from 1 to 10 will be like 9.8 for the hybrid system i will give it a 10 for the practicality i will give it a 10 the reliability and material quality 10 but for the lights on the exterior and a few things here and there i will totally improve it and for for this reason i will give it a 9.8 but good car good car totally deserve to take it in consideration that was the video thank you for watching thank you very much guys i really appreciate that you're watching my channel i just reached 200 000 subscribers so i really appreciate that to all of you thank you also don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that that will help me to continue to make those good videos and uh, even better video even improve the videos and uh, i'm really looking forward to hear your feedbacks down and tell me what can i improve on my videos because i i'm looking forward to hear a lot of ideas so yeah uh, write me down there anyway that was the video thank you for watching also we are looking for sponsors at the moment if you want to see your brand on our videos on the end of the video in the description if you want to be your own sponsors you can write me on the email it's in about description of the channel sdadancar at gmail.com so see you in the next one stay safe and ciao guys